guys, Garrison Doctor here with Rep Your Water, Rep Your Wild Apparel, proud partner of Backcountry Hunters and Anglers. Cheers, thanks for joining me. Today uh, I'm going to tie a pretty simple CDC uh, jigged tungsten bead soft tackle um, featuring some bobwhite quail feathers from last fall's hunts. Um, any type of soft tackle like this is a really fun way to utilize some upland game bird feathers if you uh, happen to do any hunting out there. Um, and you can use, like I said, I'm using Bob White, but you can use rough grouse is awesome. Uh, dusky grouse is great. I know from personal experience on both of those. I have some scale quail feathers here um, that are pretty cool to work with. You kind of adapt this fly um, depending on what you have. Um, and this is meant to be an attractor pattern. Um, it has a pretty caddisy look, I think. So anytime there's caddis moving around, it's a great fly uh, to be nymphing with. It's kind of pre pre dry fly, uh, but it's also just a great attractor pattern. Um, you know, anytime. Um, in terms of the jig fly, I'm I'm tying this on a jig hook with a slotted bead. Um, that's a really great um way if you're to fish if you're using kind of a modern style nymphing or european style nymphing a tight line style nymphing if you will uh no bo no bobber no indicator uh but jig flies can also be great under an indicator um depending on how you fish them just to make sure that that hook point is riding up um but you can tie this pattern on a straight shank as a bead head uh non jig hook as well no problem um as I mentioned, I'm with Rep Your Water, Rep Your Wild, uh, featuring a little bit of gear here. We are, like I said, a, a partner with Backcountry Hunters and Anglers. So we push back at least 3% on all of our part products to our conservation partners, including BHA. We also have a great line of collaborative products with Backcountry Hunters and Anglers. So be sure to check those out. Uh, without further ado, let's start tying here. So I'm gonna tie this guy on a size 14. Um, this is a Umqua C450BL. This is a nice, like really wide gap um, hook that I like. It comes barbless, um, which I also like. Um, and I'm gonna be using a tungsten gold slotted bead. You could use copper or play with the colors if you want. Um, pink beads I think are really good, really underrated. Um, so on a size 14 I'm pairing this with a uh, three millimeter gold slotted. And the slotted bead just allows the bead to seat properly on that jig hook. Um, let's see if I can thread this baby on there real quick. Okay, let's get him clamped in. And then that, you can twirl it around to get that slot to seat that bead. Perfect, just like that, okay? So, let's get started. We're just gonna, you don't really need to worry about that, what that bead's doing for, for a little second here. Tie in some thread, get back to where the hook just starts to kind of bend there and then we're going to build up just a little bit of a thread ball, just kind of flare that tail off. Alright, and then I'm going to start digging into my bag of quail feathers here and you can kind of pick out whatever you want. Um, I'm going to pick out kind of a bigger one for this tail and I'm going to use some of the, the feather fibers for a tail and then I'm going to pick out a little bit of a smaller one for our soft hackle on the front when we get there. Okay, so here's a beautiful little bob white and I'm just going to pinch this out so the fibers on one side are kind of lined up, okay, and then hold that, trim them at the base, okay, 
And then I'm gonna tie these in, like I said, as the tail. I don't want the tail to be super long on this guy, so I'm gonna kind of gauge it out. Um, maybe a little bit more than that. Okay, just a couple wraps to secure those. All right, so that's gonna be our tail. And you can go ahead and trim off the rest. Okay. I'm going to tie in just a little bit of copper wire here um, to wrap around our body. So hold that wire in, wrap it forward, get that wire nice and secure, wrap back, okay. And now we're going to get out just a little bit of uh, here's your dubbing. This is kind of some standard here's your plus tan. Um, and a little bit goes a long way here. We don't want to overdress this guy too much. So just a small pinch. We're not going to worry about a dubbing loop at this point. We're just going to kind of wrap this around the thread. Okay. Start wrapping that forward. And once, once you get it wrapped in once, you can spin it a little tighter around that thread. Okay. Wrap that forward. Let's make sure we can see where that bead's gonna be, kind of. Yeah, so that's good. I wanna leave a little room here because I'm gonna tie in a little pop of another color dubbing there. Okay, so now we can wrap our wire and really kind of give this fly a little bit more durability too with this wire forward. Just nice, even wraps. I'm going pretty tight. You could space those out a little bit more if you want. Okay, so a couple wraps to secure that wire. And then uh, you can just wiggle that wire right off of there. And if you have any kind of really long guard hairs, I'm gonna kind of just trim those up and want those. Okay, now to give this guy a little bit of kind of color pop and iridescence behind the hackle, I'm gonna tie in a little bit of uh, ice dub. Ice dub. This is pheasant tail, which kind of turns into like coppery with some yellow highlights. Let's just get a little pinch of this. And I want this to kind of be pretty loose. Um, so it'll kind of flare, flare back like that, okay? And it's just going to give us, I think we might want just a tiny bit more than that. Just a tiny bit more. Okay, so that's going to kind of give us a pop of color. Now we got that bead kind of locked in as well, okay? All right, so now I want to get a little... Um, CDC soft tackle on the back and and CDC is such a cool material I mean it obviously is a great material for dry flies this is another thing if you hunt ducks make sure you know CDC stands for col de canard and it's the um, the feathers around the oil gland of a duck right make sure if you hunt ducks to pull these babies off I'm going to use a little bit of light tan natural. This is some pre-bought CDC. And you can tie this feather in and wrap it if you want. I'm going to show you guys a technique that I learned recently from a fly tying guru friend, Mr. Alec Gerbeck. And that is to do a little dubbing loop with this CDC, which is a pretty fun technique and gives you just a little bit more durability. Um, so I'm going to make kind of a long loop with my thread, lock it, around once and lock it down. Okay, and I'm just gonna let that hang for a second. Um, with this, my bobbin, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave my bobbin obviously connected here, but I'm gonna half hitch this and uh, take this bobbin out. I'll actually use my little holder here out to the side. Okay, now if you're gonna use this technique, you almost need one of these fancy little CDC clamps. I'm, I'm gonna take this and just clamp right along the spine 
of this CDC feather. Kind of as tight in as you can be there, okay? Then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna trim the spine of the feather off, okay? And now we just have a nice little chunk of CDC in our clamp. I'm gonna come in with this dubbing loop. I got my dubbing spinner attached to this dubbing loop, right? I think that's what that's called. That's what we're calling it today. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna just clamp the ends of the CDC into that loop and let go of the clamp, okay? Now I can hold this and spin my dubbing spinner and it's gonna create this beautiful little CDC brush. Okay, this is gonna be pretty nice and durable and also it's not gonna create a lot of bulk, right, as we spin it. So I'm gonna actually use my rotary vise on this and just start wrapping this brush in and you can kind of train these CDC fibers back, okay? And that's going to give, like CDC, when you tie it in on a nymph like this, it kind of um, traps a little air at first. And then if it's really wet, it just gives amazing kind of movement. Um, I think the term bugginess is maybe overused in fly tying, but for lack of a better word, we're going to use it here. It's a great bugginess. So I'm just going to tie off that dubbing loop, get rid of that. And then some of these CDC fibers are a little longer than we want, right? So just kind of pinch them and break them off so they maintain a natural look, okay? And now we're gonna find that quail feather that we picked out um, first. And we are just gonna wrap this guy, okay? So strip off the fuzz tie in around the quill, just a couple wraps. Trim that guy off. Okay. And then see if you can get a hold of the tip of this guy. And we just want like a wrap around just to give some of that beautiful kind of barred, spidery, soft hackle off of this Bob White. Okay, so I'm going to clamp that in, wrap that in, excuse me, and then trim out the top of the feather. Okay, we're almost there. So I'm going to kind of train these back, give that a wrap, and then I like to kind of give this thing a little bit of a collar with that same ice dub. Um, and you don't need to do this, but I just feel like it gives it a kind of clean little look at the end. Just to kind of fill in right behind that bead and get that hackle training back. Okay. Maybe a little long on my soft hackle, but... I'm gonna bet you a trout will eat it. And then we just finish this thing off. I'm a hand finish guy. I, uh, I don't know, self-taught. I never really got going with the whip finisher. I probably should, but I'm just gonna hand finish this with a couple. All right, clamp that back. Trim off your thread, and that should be a nice, durable, soft hackle. If there's any caddis moving, it's gonna ride like this when you fish it, right? Hook side up. Okay. Um, that's it for me. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Lots of variations you can uh, tie off of this bug, obviously. Um, 
check out repyourwater.com uh, and our Rep Your Wild line of, of hunting stuff as well and outdoor stuff. Uh, support BHA. Be sure to follow the Backcountry Hunters and Anglers on YouTube. Um, if you want to check out some of my personal um, flies and artwork, my uh, Instagram handle is at Garrison Doctor. Um, and check out, obviously, at Rip Your Water on Instagram as well. Um, thanks for tuning in. Happy fishing out there, guys. And gals. <laughs>